I can only assume her sister's dead, though, because she's mentioned nothing of her. Plus, they stayed at Crawford. And Crawford's gone. Well, um, let's hope Molly has made it back. And those zombies don't break down the door when I go. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. How's your sister? I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. What? How can you? What? I'm just kidding. Oh, I was about to be very, very angry. Here you go. Thanks. I'll just shove this in my pocket. Yep, into my back pocket it goes. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even... You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic. Oh. By Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. Insulin, okay. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. Well, damn. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Wait, if Molly's not ringing those bells, who is? spooked by those bells and then I heard someone coming did you leave Clementine alone no Kenny's with her we still can't open that armory door he sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open I found this whoa no uh, Ben where did you get that I just found it it was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there Oh no! god damn it Ben you done fucked up again oh shit Oh. Shoot this Quit moving. Thanks. What? It wasn't me. I'm going, kid. Nice shot. Oh shit. Come on, Clem. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come oh, on, sun's coming up. You. This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so ben, sorry. Ben, this is not the time. Ben, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this oh. anymore. God damn it, Ben. me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. What, what? Wait a minute. No. What are you saying? 
It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Oh, no. He's gonna murder your ass. Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. We gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kitty, oh, shit. listen to me. You can whip his skin in the last later. But right now, we gotta go! This is not the goddamn time. Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, Damn. don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. Oh shit. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Oh, I abstain too. But... Ben stays with us. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. I'm not just siding with you, Clint. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a Oh shit. And Bree is dead. Oh shit. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! Oh. That door ain't shutting, so Lee. For the armory. What's left of it? Oh, don't you drop A those cans. Rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Oh shit, man. Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Thanks. Don't worry. Crowd control time. Oh, go, go, go. Oh shit! No! Oh no, Lee. Oh, they eat your tummy guts. Alright. Alright. Get him. And you. You want some too? Oh, shit. Don't mind me, just getting out of here. Unlimited ammo mode activated. Oh, of course the step breaks. Get that leg out of there, Lee. Come on. Oh, Oh, I wanted to shoot you in the face! My belly guts! Okay. I'm gonna shoot this guy in the face. I don't want any trouble while I get my leg unstuck. Right, come on. Don't tell me another one's coming. Okay, we're okay. There are more coming. We just need to go, Lee. Time to go. Oh, shit. Oh, what? Krista. Oh, come on, don't leave me alive. Oh, dual wheel time. Chop him up. You're next. I don't think you're getting away. You want some? I'll give you some. Don't worry. There's more to go around. Oh, shit. Hey, get off my shoot gun. It's all right, Clint. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. 
We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Why on earth was he... Did we bring that giant mob of zombies that was following our train? Did they finally reach us? Come on, let's go! Holy shit. Oh god, Ben! Holy... Cab him! Don't even tell me to drop your ass, cause I ain't doing it. Climb up! Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Fuck it around, Ben! Come on! Come on, Ben! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Lee! You're seriously, Kenny? Come on, man! He's another human being and he's still alive! He's we both know. Let me go. Oh, God damn it, Ben. Fuck no. Come on. Now you owe me one. Come on. Why? Go, go, go! Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! What? Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's alright. Hey, back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. There you go, magic pills. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. About what? What's up, man? Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. You want to know the worst part? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. It's kind of the truth, man. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I guess you have a point. I just want what's best for her. Whatever that means. I think you already know what it means, Lee. I want you to think about some things. 
I need to do some thinking, that's You're for sure. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that. It's what's best for Clem. It's what's best for Clem. But I made all these promises to her. What about me teaching her in her own little private classroom? Or no homework? Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks. For everything. It's been fun. Fun is not the word I'd use. Hmm. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Dang. I really liked Molly, too. She was so spunky. You be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Full of gusto. Probably the coolest Good survivor luck. I've met so Ain't far. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? It's a damn good question. Hmm. Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Uh. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. It's getting to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Aw, oh, shit. Be straight up with her, man. We can't, Clem. I'm sorry. But they're in Crawford somewhere. They have to be. Clementina, I know you don't want to give up on them. But Crawford's just like every other place now. If your parents are there, they won't be like you remember them. And they won't remember you at all. Here come the tears. She's upset with me and ran out. Just ran away from quote unquote home. Where on earth should she be? Clementine? Clementine! The 
radio. Check the trash bins first. Oh! Damn you zombies! Oh, God. Smash his head! Getting plain old tired with your bullshit, zombies. That's all blood splattered. Oh, oh shit! No. No. no! 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 Fuck! Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee! Oh no. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe! Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. I don't know what, what to do. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? Fuck it, show him. Don't endanger the group. Mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clementine's my responsibility. Can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this. This is something I have to do alone. We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of God damn it, Lee. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Lee. You know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, and I keep asking myself, if this was me, asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times you ain't been. Kitty man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help. Please. You know I've helped Lee, you many times. I know you think you and me might have been on the same page a few times lately. But the way I see it, you've never really had my back. You joking? Right from the beginning, you were never looking out for me and mine. Not when it mattered. So pardon me if I'm not bending over backwards to help you and yours now. Wow. What about you, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I swear, before this is all over, I'm gonna show you I can do something right. I'll prove it to you. You'll see. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. You're still gonna take me? Even Ben? Yeah. We'll figure out what to do about that when the time comes. So many mixed signals from Kenny right now. I've helped him out so much. Come on, guys. Let's go. He won't even help me out with my one problem. Someone tell me Clem's not here. Of course they're gone. Where the hell are? 
are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Think it is? Clementine. Wait. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody. Oh, it's the other guy. No. Oh. Where have you taken her? This is Vernon, and you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you. Let's see what happened. Hmm. I'm in the small percentage that didn't kill the boy. I was rational and honest, like the majority. A lot of people brought Clem to Crawford. I'm actually surprised about that. Almost half on the whole dropping Ben part. No, I probably should have. And did I reveal the bite to the group? Wow, a lot of people did. Huh. Interesting. Alrighty then. Till next time. Oh, hey, who was this? Who came with you? Oh. 6% by themselves, 18% with him and Kenny. 14% was right there. Man. That's really interesting. Looks like a small. Well, actually, it's almost second place with the majority that. The entire group went with them. Huh. Well, a lot of people were just... Lee and Kenny. Alright then. Cool.